Hello everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I thought I'd go over the market. Actually, let me go over the SPY instead here. Because this is really the one that I'm watching. And let's just go over what happened from yesterday until today. So what did we do? Well, actually, let's go back to Monday. So Monday morning, this is Friday, boom. Monday gap down, fell hard, flipped. Gapped up on Tuesday, didn't go anywhere at all, which I didn't think we would. Then we opened up slightly, fell off a planet. This was Wednesday. Then we were selling off really big last night. If anyone happened to be watching like at 7.30 at night, we were down a lot. Then we ended up opening down this morning, not a lot, but still down. Then we broke initially this morning. That's what this tail is. This is a sell off in the spy. I'll show you the one minute minute. And then we flipped, went over the high. And when we did that, I was extremely, extremely cautious because I thought to myself, we might not close red today. We may close green today. And then I wanted to be very cautious, but I will say this, I still think we're lower. Um, and so it's 1.35 in the afternoon. But what I said to the trading room this morning is, I don't know what time, what time we're gonna break. In other words, I think we break lower. I think we break lower even in the next 24, 24 to 48 hours. And I, I still think we break lower in the next day. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we sell off tomorrow, Honest, honestly. I mean, I know this is so tricky for people because if you're long, you are absolutely losing the entire last three weeks. If you're short, you've been making money, but it's been very, very, uh, what's the word? Like you've had to have the conviction, which I do, which I definitely do. But if you've been short, you have to have the conviction. Why? Because not everything is going immediately, okay? And what's so strange is that we've been seeing this kind of thing that has flipped and this is not normal and eventually it is not going to do that. So now let me just go back here to what happened this morning. So the time that we went over the high, I was extremely cautious. It was right into 10 o'clock. And actually, this was exactly at 10 o'clock. Pushed hard over the high at 10 o'clock. And when we did that, I thought to myself, wait a minute, we could actually close green today. This could take until tomorrow morning to go, or even Monday, preferred, preferred to go another sell-off here into Thursday night, into Friday morning. But I really just don't think that we close with some massive green, big red bar that 100% retraces yesterday's sell-off. I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, it could, because we're definitely through a chunk of this. I mean, we definitely, definitely are. But again, this to me looks more like a rally into the resistance here. And we'll see if this is what it is going to be, because there were several levels of resistance underneath this that we didn't hold this morning, and the fact is we are green. And, and one of the reasons we're green is, again, the Apple flipped pretty fast today, pretty fast today. And when Apple lifts, the QQQs lift, but I look at the SPY, and when I look at that, I say, wait a minute. JPM was down this morning, sold off hard immediately. The banks have been down. I still think these are very, very weak. So this is a pushback day here in the market. If you've had a short bias, if you have a long bias for the long, long-term trend, that's fine. But intraday here or short-term period here, like I'm talking about to have any follow-through in this rally today, I just don't see it happening. We could pit around here this afternoon, or it could drop down and die tomorrow morning and die in an instant. So we'll see really where it goes. But good luck, everyone. Very tricky market. Definitely have to know what you're doing. Definitely have to follow what? Number one, a good strategy that works, which I have one that works, which is my rating system. It's a rating system. That's how I make the calls on the options letter on the day trades and two, money management. And don't forget to book profits along the way. That's, that's important as well. I have to remind everyone that. Not everything goes to a piggy target. Okay, so the really the next target for the spy was 320 and it did hit that this morning and then that's where it reversed. So we'll see where this goes. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the class to do and get in the trading room before the next earnings season starts is October 3rd and 4th. And uh, that's in about a week and a half. So good luck, everyone. Email me, Melissa, the stock, swish.com if you have any questions.